Hello everyone, I'm Lydia and I'm part of Demon Media here at DMU. And a few weeks ago, DMU and Demon FM hosted the Student Radio Conference 2017. This is a conference full of talks from industry people and all sorts of other events. And I was lucky enough to help volunteer. So this is what happened. So my role during this conference is to do social media for Demon FM, as well as do some podcasts for the SRA. So that means that I'll be interviewing people who are doing the talks um, and then putting that audio up on a website so everyone else can hear it. Okay, so I'm currently at the trade fair, which is the first thing that happens at SRACon, and there's loads of stalls from different sort of like radio industry companies, um, sort of selling products and talking about what they do to the students who are arriving, and registration is happening just here, um, so it's all really fun, and I've interviewed a few people for the podcasting, and yeah, it's been really good. After the trade fair, it was then time to interview Greg James. I've never been interviewed with my boss before, so are you going to critique me as I go through this interview. No, I'll be doing that during the, uh, the panel discussion, critiquing okay. your show. This is quite good. People always hear from me, but we never hear from this man. He's quite an elusive character, quite shady, some say. <laughs> he brought this up at the Student Radio Awards a few years ago, actually, where he said, thanks to all the support for Ben Cooper, Reese, a little less so. <laughs> Do you look for, like, radio ready presenters or someone who you can sort of, like, mould a little bit? A little bit of both. I think. I don't want to put people on air that haven't had much experience of radio, so, um, but saying that, we have taken people and trained them up. People ask me to do, to introduce the news just to prove that it's me sometimes. I was out in, um, I was out uh, on a night out, it was last summer I remember where these lads came up about 3 a.m. and were like, Is that you good James? <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, no, prove it! So I had to introduce Newsbeat. <laughs> and, um, and then sing Christmas with the news. And then they believed me. But that's the lengths you go to for the notoriety. Oh my gosh. I, I, just want, I just want them to like me! <laughs> Hello, I've just interviewed Greg James. This is him. I'm not brave enough to vlog in front of him, so this is all you're getting. Um, there'll be some photos and stuff, so I'll insert them here. But he's really nice, and it's been really fun. So, thumbs up for Greg James. Makes me start, I, I genuinely love it. I'm not, I've, I've, I've re-signed, so I don't, I'm not even trying to grovel anymore. Got a new contract, signed it the other day. But, um. Not over hard work. <laughs> I'm doing it for free. After Greg did his talk, it was time to hear from Stephanie Hurst, who is a transgender radio presenter, and it was so inspirational. This is a big deal. Really, does it affect you that I change my gender? You? Okay. Anybody in this room, does it affect that I change my gender? It doesn't, does it? I've been on the air a couple of hours, the last female would have been on at breakfast, and someone called, and I picked up the phone and said, hello, BBC Radio Manchester, and she said, are you the lady on the radio? I went, yeah, and blah, 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 and she was chatting to me, and then that was it. She changed my life. I don't know her name, but she just heard, she just heard it. She just said the lady on the radio and that, that I stopped worrying at that point. And that marked the end of day one of the conference and all the talks. So we all went home and quickly got ready and then headed down to the venue at DMU for Demo Factor, which is like X Factor, but with radio demos. So there are a panel of judges made up of industry professionals who listen to students' demos that have been submitted and basically give feedback on them. And they can buzz them if they don't like them, or they can press a golden buzzer if they really like them. Not all the demos submitted get played, but I was one of the lucky ones and my demo actually did get played. So here is what happened. Who would that be? We shall see. Ah, it's Lydia. All right, okay, let's hear your demo, Lydia, good luck. Hello indeed, and welcome to Lydia Does Musical Theatre here on Demon FM. Right, it's time for a micro rant, okay? I went to the theatre the other day to see Evita and it made me realise how many people just don't understand theatre etiquette. So the woman in front of us has clearly had a few bevies and talks all the way through. So she sat in the seat in front of me and she sat in between two of her friends 
And she keeps leaning across to one friend and saying something, leans across to the other friend, says something else. And I'm sat directly behind this woman. And I'm like, with you leaning side to side, how am I supposed to know where to sit to be able to actually see past your head that keeps moving? Goodness me, it was so frustrating. Uh, let's get some feedback. Let's start with Paul Sylvester. Um, let's be honest, right? The world needs a new Elaine Page, right? So, <laughs> I'll do it. I'll I mean, it. she's 600 years old. Um, literally, if someone can come and be the new Elaine Page from Demo Factor, let's all, all go home because our work is done. I nearly golden buzzed you, but yeah, you. I have news okay. from the industry, oh from Ooh, the floor. Okay. Uh, the uh, team from uh, Magic Chills and Mellow Magic, uh, Tony and Rachel, are in the building. They think you've got a great voice, and I agree. They'd like to meet you afterwards. That's ace. Well That's done. Great. Well yeah. done. Well done. Uh, let's have a little chat to... Oh, Lydia just said, oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Uh, let's you. talk to Christopher North. Well done. I, do you know what? <laughs> I know what Paul was about to do, and he was about to push that gold button, and I think we were all thinking it. But you've got a great style, and, and, and Lucy and I were just, um, we were just saying... Alice Levine, be careful. Do you know what I mean? You've got a great style about you and you've got a great storytelling. You're making the uncool cool. Cool. And, yeah. it, and, you were making, she, and does, she does and it very, very, very well. Lydia, do you want to really say good. anything to the judges? Um, literally just thank you. I have nothing else to say but thank you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to day two of SRACon. I can't lie. I'm feeling slightly rough after last night. Um, didn't get much sleep after Demo Factor, but it's time for another wonderful day of talks and fun things but yeah so i will take you along with me again hello everyone so we're now about halfway through day two and i've been to a few talks and done a few interviews um and it's very fun and we've got an exciting evening tonight and people are always going to want to trust the company he says yeah. hoping that he's going to carry <laughs> on paying the mortgage for another 20 years well i'm sure you will but <laughs> thank you so much thank for joining us on the podcast today good luck with your talk thanks ever so much cheers so what do you need? That was Are you sure? Thank you so much. So day two is officially over. It ended on such a high with a talk from James O'Brien, which was amazing. Um, really inspirational and really cool. And now it's time to get ready for tonight, which is an award ceremony and a nice meal. The winner is... Shock Radio! Okay, so the food at the award ceremony was amazing. They had this chocolate ball which they dropped and there were sweets in the middle of it and they just exploded all over the table and there was just sweets and chocolate everywhere and it was amazing. Um, and then also they had ice cream that was on fire. My ice cream is on fire. Hello and welcome to the last day of SRACon 2017. Um, today's a bit of a shorter day. It's just got a few talks and there's the AGM. Um, we're running off very little sleep. The after party last night went on quite some time. I think I ended up getting about three hours sleep and the night before only about four or five. So it's a struggle today but it'll be worth it because there's some good talks and I'm getting to do some interviewing and podcasting and things as well. So the main thing that happened on day three was the AGM which obviously isn't too interesting to put in the vlog um, but we basically re-elected or elected new members to the committee of SRA and all the other stuff that happens at an AGM. And then it was time to say goodbye to SRACon, which was so fun and one of the best experiences I've had at university. And I'm so thankful that DMU give us opportunities like this. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to DMU down below. And you can subscribe to me if you want on youtube.com forward slash chat with lids x. Um, and I will see you again soon.